Well, uh, good morning, technically, I suppose. It's, uh, 2.30 in the morning. I'm up way too late, and in fact, after I shoot this, I'm going to bed. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while of anything, um, I've actually shot quite a few that I've done nothing with. Um, first of all, you should probably know that somebody gave me a really cheap Sansui, well, I don't want to say cheap, but underpowered Sansui that I've been using as a, uh, tuner, and a couple of days ago, the antennas I had rigged up outside were accidentally ripped down. So... This gave me the opportunity to run another antenna, which you can see the lovely gray telephone line. Um, this time I made it bigger. Um, it's currently stretched about 206 feet point to point, and it's about 17 feet off the ground at the lowest point because it droops quite a bit. And that's basically end fed with the exact same cable, making a really crappy L antenna. Um, probably closer to a beverage, but not quite. Uh, so anyway, I'm playing around with the uh, the Sansui, which is pretty decent. Um, but I've always had a little affinity for crystal sets, um, and I actually I built one a couple of weeks ago using the same uh, gain capacitor that I took out of the Pioneer along with a couple of co along with a coil that I wound along with an AM broadcast coil that I stole out of a radio. Um, oddly enough it's the exact same ferrite bar that I'm using there. Um, I don't remember how many turns of wire that is. It's extremely fine motor wire. Um, I think it's 100, 120, quite a few. And that's probably, I think, the standard 66 total with the last five or so being um, the L2 coil. And, of course, here is a lovely gain capacitor. Now, you're probably wondering where's the rest of the electronics. Well, the actual um, germanium diode is mounted down here. You can maybe kind of see it and it hooked up to a uh, 4.7k loading resistor and a RF bypass capacitor so I can power or at least monitor it with the signal tracer so completely powerless crystal radio no but it is a crystal tuner to add to that if we come over here this is actually a little n channel JFET wideband AM broadcast amplifier that I constructed to play around with the Sansui provides quite a bit of gain and in fact on the old antenna provided much more gain although um, the new antenna doesn't really it doesn't work as nicely with it uh, the three pots the one pot um, that won't work too well but the pot here is the adjust bolted adjustment for the end fed. This is the input uh, loading adjustment, output loading adjustment. Um, what I've actually done, unlike a lot of them that I've different schematics I've seen, um, and actually probably I know the standard kits probably do this. I do remember I used to have a crystal radio kit that used a single ferrite bar antenna. I just don't remember how many coils it had on it. But I'm using two coils. I'm using the my hand-wound one as my tuning coil, and I am loading or um, coupling my antenna, amplified antenna output, by the way, through this entire winding. Um, I do have two sections of my capacitor paralleled. Um, to get me down in the lower range, um, there's a local station on 630 WMAL, and I'm not, 
I don't remember exactly what their nighttime output power is, but I, I'm able to get that pretty nicely uh, by paralleling the two sections. Probably paralleling the three would might. I don't know what it would do. So let me go ahead and turn the volume back up. Unfortunately, I get a lot of hum because my signal tracer is kind of cheap. Um, but I'll go ahead and tune around here a little bit. That's uh, 6.30, and I'm, you can see how open, or actually how, how far closed the sections are. If I pull this one, it uh, does change dramatically. I can't. Well, I still actually do get 6.30. Now I have the entire range. Um, I can change tuning of the system by moving these coils around. I guess I have them in the right position. Um, so that's kind of cool. Obviously, much better reception than the higher end. And three or four stations all blending together. But anyway, that's... um. I don't know why I, I did that. I just wanted to share my very basic hacked together crystal tuner um, using, well, pseudo crystal. K fit amplified input or antenna stage and a amplified output stage. But other than that, it's, uh, it's, it's a crystal germanium based uh, radio. All right, well, it is uh, entirely too late. I need to be getting to bed, so uh, maybe the, sometime I'll upload the videos of me making my really long antenna. Uh, I took about six or seven videos I have to edit together, and I actually haven't been able to finish filming what I intended to. It, it uh, started getting dark on me when I had some problems, and it's been cold the last few days. In fact, the last I looked, the temperature outside is 18 degrees, and I'm in the mid-Atlantic. It, it should not be this cold in the middle of November. Uh, so eventually I will do, I'll get that up and share that with you guys, but yeah, it's a, it's a long antenna, and it's seriously insane, and when I put it up, I said, I don't know what I'm doing this for, but I'm already into it. All right, well, good night.